we, we get the choice and so far away. We're gonna we'll choose Saturday and then the time will kinda of be the time and stuff. We haven't talked to him yet, I don't think. Uh, They're gonna stop that's weird. Well, that first half flew by in like 20 minutes in real time. And so we got the field twice. Really? Uh, is that, have you been uh, shut out in the, quarter before in the first quarter? No, we haven't. And, uh, you know, they came out, um, and something we weren't ready for, they came out in the three-man front defense. Uh, every tape we've had of them, you know, for the past two or three years, uh, they were a four-man front team. Um, so it took a little bit of, you know, you game plan and, and install all week with, you know, protections and run schemes and, and everything, and then you get thrown something a little different like that. Uh, you know, it just took a, a, a drive to adjust and then I thought we had, we adjusted the second drive we just missed a couple plays and then uh, you know we were kind of able to get things rolling from there. How tough was it to game plan against that offense and how do you, how do you think you guys did today against it? You know it, it was uh, daunting at first um, but uh, you know once we kind of broke it down and, and, and found uh, you know some tendencies and, and, and some some guys that led you to the football um, you know it, it, it was tough to execute the game plan I, I think would be the best thing it looks good on a chalkboard and uh, you know I thought our kids uh, you know I, I felt really good coming in tonight because I thought from you know Tuesday which is our first big practice of the week um, from Tuesday on uh, our kids are really dialed in um, to, to their keys in, in the defensive scheme for the week and Griffin uh, seemed like he broke about 10 tackles tonight it's like hard to break down once he caught the ball he's really good um, but uh, you know he, he's just uh, he's worked really hard you know for a, a kid his speed um, you know he's a 300 pound venture 300 pound power cleaner um, you know and he's a sub four you know he's in the four fives and you know to weigh 205 pounds and, and be moving like that um, you know he, he's tough to bring down when he gets going in the open field and then uh, you guys play Bishop Shatar. Do you know much about much about them? What to look forward to next week? I mean, they're the, the, the standard in 3A. Uh, that's what I know. I don't know anything specifically about them this year. I just know, uh, you know, they're. They, I don't think they've lost a 3A game since 2008 or 2009. And um, you know, we know we, we certainly will, will have our hands full and, and we'll be in for a fight. And you mentioned adjusting to their defense, and obviously uh, it might start on the sideline, but have. Uh, uh, senior quarterback be able to go out there and he rattled off a bunch of completions in a row. That's something that wasn't on. Yeah, and, and, and Nick did a great job, but you know, really, uh, you know, uh, some of our senior offensive linemen, Ryan Emilio, Andrew Hartman, Kyle Brakey, um, those were the guys because we got the coverage we, we kind of thought we were going to see um, a little bit different, but you know, we, we got the main coverage we thought we were going to see. It was more up front, picking up, they're bringing a lot of blitzes early, um, picking up the blitzes and making sure we had Nick protected so he had time. <laughs> I think Scott DeLong before the game said that uh, Sellers was going to move into 25th all time in the state and, and pass career passing. Um, what does that say about the the group that's been around him and the senior group and you know the last home game uh, going to walk off as regional champions? It, it says a lot, and, and uh, you know he's had some great players around him and, and some great linemen protecting him. Uh, but Nick's worked really hard uh, to, to get to where he's going to be, and um, you know he does it, uh, and, and I don't know if you could ever find this but you know to be on that list he's got to have the, the lowest number of attempts probably ever to be on that, that list you know uh, um, he just doesn't have a ton of attempts um, you know throughout the years um, and so uh, you know I think it's a, a great feat you know I know he's averaging we're averaging 17 or 18 yards of completion this year so uh, you know it's it's done in, 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 in short work so uh, but uh, you know he, he's earned that honor and, and uh, you know we'll go down um, you know as a great football player to come through. All right anything else? Uh, thanks. All right, thanks, Chris. Good, Good luck. luck.